What's up guys, Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Trust you guys are all doing well. Man, I'm gonna come at you guys here and just hang out with you here for a few quick minutes. You know what, it's been uh, a couple of uh, videos in where you guys know that I like to just kinda hang out with you guys. I really enjoy just having the audience to talk to you guys, maybe just give you some encouragement. And you know what, this one I wanna talk about my first year in business and where a lot of you guys are right now with getting your lawn care business started. So let's check this out. Um, by the way, before we roll into this, I gotta keep the sunglasses on, man. I am pulling some massive hours here to get things cranking, as you guys can imagine. And you know what? I'm definitely getting bags under my eyes, man. Like, me and uh, Brandon Boudreaux, we were driving to Weingarts the other day, and my wife was like, hey, what? so what do you and Brandon talk about when you guys were driving to Weingarts and hanging out? And I'm like, honestly, we're talking about freaking skincare for dudes, man, because we're getting like these little things here and the bags under our eyes. Anyway. I don't want to sound too metro, right? It is 2018. I'm the uh, the metro male, right? But uh, man, I'm like my eyes. The like this never happened when I was 25, guys. So anyway, uh, I know I need to get some more sleep, and I'm burning the candle at both ends. But whatever, that's hogwash. I can sleep when I'm dead, right? Ah, these are my motivational people, right? Anyway, so check this out. I uh, just being a nerd with you guys, but check this out. I wanted to talk to you guys, just real talk, for just a few minutes, and uh, talk to you guys about your first year in business. And for a lot of you guys, uh, even going into your first season, right? I told you it's getting pretty bad, right? Uh, I remember exactly where I was ten years ago, uh, almost today, starting my lawn care landscaping business, and uh, you know, it was just a. Uh, it's just one of those things, man, where you look back and hindsight's always 2020, right? And you're really glad that you made some of the same choices that you did. Yeah, we can only always make better choices, but you know what? Life, uh, it just comes at you quick, right? And I just want to give you guys some encouragement while you're out there. Um, I'm not actually an emotional guy. Like, I don't get too emotional, right? But uh, most of you guys are starting your business, and uh, for a lot of you guys, you're you're let's just call a spade a spade you're probably struggling you might be in debt you're trying to figure things out um you know you got seven eight months of income but you're struggling the other four months maybe you had a good job you just got laid off you just got some bad news maybe the wife is pregnant you're just trying to hustle your nine to five isn't cutting it so you want to do this stuff on the side and you know one thing and then I will never lose sight on on my channel talking to you guys is that I know exactly what it's like to struggle. I know exactly what it's like to hustle. I know exactly what it's like to be uh, pit, uh, pinned in a corner, not have any resources to your name, but yet you still have to make things through. I know what it's like to have zero in the bank account, zero uh, available line of credit on a credit card, uh, zero resources to your name, uh, but yet you still have to figure things out and punch through, right? And I just wanted to just shoot you guys straight, man, and give you uh, just five or six minutes of real talk and encouragement because, you know, you can figure this out. You can do it and you can move forward. And I wish there was just more people in life uh, telling you guys that and more people in your life uh, <clears throat> just encouraging you guys about that. See, I don't take it for granted when I hit publish on a video and 12 hours later we've got 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 people viewing the video, right? I don't take it for granted when um, we do a really good video and 50,000 of you guys see it in a week. Uh, I don't take it for granted that you guys subscribe to the channel. You see, I don't take any of this for granted because it can be gone tomorrow. And, you know, making money is cool, but you guys got to remember at the end of the day, we're trying to take care of you. We're trying to take care of me. We're trying to improve our life. We're trying to take care of our family. We're trying to take care of our of our girls. We're trying to take care of our wife. And it just got me thinking, man, because 10 years ago today, <laughs> camera tears, right? All this acting, right? 10 years ago today, I remember getting laid off from True Green and I was cutting lawns on the side. I was hustling. And I was just trying to figure some stuff out. I, I was so afraid. I was so full of fear. I was 19, 20 years old. Man, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know what I was going to do at all. And most of you guys know, if you listen to my podcast with Lawn Care Business Success and Julio, you guys know that uh, I was cutting lawns on the side with True Green. Uh, they had actually laid me off. I have nothing against them. It was their, their choice. It was kind of a mutual thing. I just decided to not come back. They replaced me uh, in the truck I was running. And it was tough, but uh, I was like, you know what? Fine, I guess I'm going to go do this lawn care thing full time, right? And I remember for the next eight weeks, and in fact, it was right in this window, the next eight weeks, where I hit my life the hardest I've ever probably hit it uh, up until about two years ago when I doubled down and had my second wave, I call it. But man, I remember going door to door and talking to three to 4,000 people in my town on Saturdays and Sundays. I remember passing out 
5,000 flyers I in the door, not in the mailbox, in the door. I walked every, I walked my town. I told everybody I was doing You know, this is no 7 08. The economy was crap. The economy was in a recession, right? It was in a depression. It was bad. It was bad in Metro Detroit. It was really bad in uh, where I live, being automotive and being GM town. Uh, every fifth person worked for an automotive uh, supplier or, or the, the big three, right? And you know what? We made it through. You know, uh, I, I, there's a great video out there. Go Google it, YouTube it. Uh, it's Tony Robbins, and he talks about resources versus resourcefulness. And uh, I didn't know that video until about seven, eight years later, right? I watched that one a handful of years ago. But I just sweat equity it out, man. I became resourceful. I just said, you know what? I'm not going to be denied with my life. I'm not going to be denied with these circumstances. I'm not going to, you know, what? I had, here's more what it was. It wasn't what I'm not. It's what I'm going to be. I had a vision for my life. I had a vision where I was going. There's no mistake that I was going to get this truck. There's no mistake that I had that sure track trailer in my mind. I had casted a vision so strong, so uh, burning desire, if you guys will, in my heart, in my mind's eye, because I knew exactly where I was going. And Nobody around me knew it. Nobody around me saw it. The reason I picked my stupid license plate was because the 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 thunder, as you guys know, the stupid lyrics of that song talks about the success, uh, the noise of the rumbling before the success came, and. I'm not just popping off at the mouth trying to talk to you guys and give you these fun cute videos. I'm trying to tell you guys I know where I'm going and I know where you guys are going. I'm just going to give you guys some encouragement here that everybody around you right up at this time uh, is going to be doubting you if you're starting your first year of business, second year of business, you're five years in business, right? Everyone around you, saturation for the lung care community, a ditch digger uh, trade, nobody's going to pay good money for this and that, you're only going to make 30 grand a year. That's all garbage. And I just want to let you guys know it's whatever you decide to make out of it. Every single day, it's you versus you. Every single day, it's what you guys want to do with your business. Don't let anybody else put a limiter, a rev limiter uh, on your mind telling you what you can or cannot accomplish. The only thing that's going to get in the way of your success is you. And I hope you guys realize that. I'm telling you, it's so, it's so uh, hindsight's 2020, right? It's just, uh, I wish I could articulate better the fact of uh, I had this little, this little seed, this little um, baby, right? Feeding the golden goose, right? And I'm so beyond thankful that we continue to grow our business. Despite the thick and the thin, man, despite all the circumstances, no money, no resources, no networks, no uh, connections, no, uh, I was 20 years old. I, I, was, I was 20 years old on, on planet Earth physically. My, my ID said that, but mentally I was probably 15 years old, guys. Uh, and that's tough because right now my license plate says, or my license says I'm 31, uh, but mentally I'm like 23. You know what I mean? I've got the energy, though, of a, of a 16 year old kid, man, ready to rock and roll of life uh, and I have that hustle and that spirit so whew, I just want to let you guys know man right now if you're in that fight or flight mode if you're in that window right now you're going into your first year of business maybe uh, you cast off the ropes right maybe you burn the boats maybe you burn the bridges I always talk about a, a trapeze artist right where you got to let go of one rope to, to literally uh, have a leap of faith to grab onto that other rope and to swing into where you need to go I, uh, I was telling Brandon Boudreaux I go in a lot of these government buildings, right? And to go in through these double doors, you have to go in one door and it has to lock and it has to close before you're able to go into that second door. And all that means is that you don't know what kind of opportunities are on the other side. Until you let go of that first rope and you capture onto that second rope, you don't know what's going to be coming your way. See, the mind is a very interesting thing. And you can almost, uh, the law of attraction, right? I'm not talking about just positive thinking, but you can, you can cast a vision for your life. You can, faith says you can see what is in the unseen before it was. That's what faith is. So I already know what I'm trying to accomplish. I already know what's out there. I'm already attracting that, pulling that to me, grinding it out with work, right? The, the harder you get, the the you, the what is it um, the what's the old saying right whether it is the uh, the harder you work the luckier you get so I'm just trying to give you guys some encouragement that you know what just go out there and make it happen man just go out there and hustle go out there and grind it out this is uh, one of those times of the season where I know a lot of you guys have that fight or flight that do I go back to my corporate job do I go back to that security do I go back to whatever it is man whatever it is for you I know exactly how hard it is to mentally break through how hard it is to um, pull apart. I mean, it's literally like a mental band-aid ripping that off. It's it's uh, it's addictive. It's worse than drugs, alcohol, and other vices. I'm telling you, I know what it's like to leave that steady paycheck. I know what it's like to to just. Ugh, it's like getting your teeth pulled, man. But I'll tell you what. 
I also know what it's like to be on the other side. I also know what it's like to be self-employed. I also know what it's like to have some financial independence. I also know what it's like to have some financial uh, or time independence. I also know what it's like to uh, be able to control your calendar, to take on work that you want, say no to things you don't. Uh, we're not totally financially independent because I'm still tied to my business necessarily, but that's all, It's I'm, I'm getting pulled out of it as you guys can see and what I'm developing with uh, all of our passive income and all of our businesses. So all that being said, I just, I, I really wanted to pour into you guys and let you know that you can do it and I know it sounds kind of um hokey pokey man I know it sounds kind of uh, dorky I know I don't do videos for you guys like this all the time but I'm telling you uh, I'm not here to just entertain I really want to help you guys out and you think that the the treasure trove of, uh, of videos are gonna eventually dry up you're kidding yourself because I'm so passionate about helping people I'm so uh, passionate about helping people not get stuck to have a better life to to understand that it doesn't matter where you came from it's, it matters where you're going it doesn't matter what what you've started with whether you have anything or don't it's the resourcefulness to move forward and to not accept your current circumstances and say this will not be the same this same time next year this will not be the same this same time next week I will not be the same this same time next week and so the endless podcast the endless book reading the endless scouring YouTube of everything I can get my hands on devouring content devouring information just like you guys are doing just know that I'm not the only one out there hustling you're not the only one out there hustling there's a group of people out there that are hustling and every Everybody's making, and I'm just talking the long care community. I'm talking about people in general. There are people that want to take their life to the next level, and that is okay. If you're listening to complainer people, negative people, family people, all that other jazz telling you all this garbage, cut that out. Download some audio books, pump that good stuff in, and you know what? Keep looking at my channel because I'm going to keep pointing to the mark, and that means more of us having a bigger impact on life, having our finances better, having our life better, taking care of our families, and you know what? Making a small dent in the universe, as uh, Mr. Jobs used to say, right? I don't do this really because uh, I don't really get a lot of fan mail. It says, hi, Brian's Law Maintenance. Fan sent 7,000 subs. It's a fan mail that I got from uh, a guy named Sean and his brother Dylan that I met at the Weingart show. By the way, I've met dozens of kids like this. And that's why we keep doing what we do, man. Hey, it says, uh, you have inspired me to work harder for what you want in life. You have inspired me to have fun, start up a business around my local area, and to deal with what you have in life. It would be nice if you could s spread my quote. It says, live and dream of your goal. You will accomplish it in no time with no stress. Kind of sounds like uh, Galatians 6, 9, right? But it says, as my device, uh, I watch my, uh, your videos on my device, which broke. Uh, I watch you on my device at school on my iPod. So little man here was telling me that he's got to go like through all the back end stuff uh, to get off the servers and go through the back end of the internet. I don't even know how to do that stuff, uh, kids these days, right? But he has to do all this stuff to watch our videos. Uh, thank you for taking the time out of your life to provide quality videos for us and inspiring us to have a fun micro enterprise. Kid's like 12 years old, man. Him and his brother, they were twins at Weingart's. They skipped school to come say hey. Um, again, I don't take that kind of stuff for granted, man. This is, by the way, it's my only piece of fan mail. So thanks, Dylan. Thanks, Sean. I know you guys are out there. I know you guys appreciate the videos. Um, I'm not really encouraging fan mail. If you want to send something, sure, you can send it to uh, uh, my address. You can look it up. It's my mom's place. But um, anyway, I just want to let you guys know that these long care videos do make a difference in people's lives. And this community, this this industry has made an, in, uh, an impact in my life. And I just want to let you guys know that if you're out there trying to figure things out, I know exactly where you've been, I know exactly where you are, I know exactly where you can be in just a handful of years. So double down, man, keep on uh, pressing on. It's you versus you every day, as I always say, and I uh, wish you guys the best. All right, over and out, have a great spring. Sorry for the waterworks. I, um, I've been trying to uh, you know, earn that Oscar, right? So um, seriously though, anyway, appreciate you guys big time. Subscribe if you guys are new. Definitely hit the uh, like button if you guys enjoyed this one. Guys, appreciate the time. Get ready for spring. It's just getting started. Over and out. Bye-bye.